Welcome to Unwritten Rules, a show where we talk about things people generally don't talk about. And then try to come up with rules for that subject. My name is Keith, and I have a butt. My name is Hillary, and I also have a butt. And today, we're going to be talking about what comes out of our butts. Poop. <sighs> Very nice, Keith. Thank you. So I hit the streets to see if anybody would talk to me about a long-standing duty rumor. I'm here on the streets of Hollywood to find out the answer to one special question. Do you know if women poop? I don't think so. No, I've never seen it happen. No. Women don't poop. No, of course not. Why do you think people are going around saying that women don't poop? Because people probably think that like it's gross for women to poop. People don't like to see women like not necessarily dirty, but like, actually, I don't know how to put it. I think it's unladylike. We're supposed to be like, ladylike. Lady -like. It's not ladylike. What about it is unladylike? Being a human? Yeah, women are human. Where do you think that originates from? Uh, fear. Misogyny. Big time. Definitely that. I think that this illusion that you speak of should be smashed. I think that we should all be proud of that. Of what? Of pooping. I poop. <laughs> You poop. Yes, we do. Women do poop. We all poop. We have to. Everybody poops. So, Keith, according to the people of Los Angeles, a very popular children's book and science, we find ourselves at the first rule. Everybody poops. Yeah, which is exactly the problem. Especially when you're out of your element. It's impossible to know where to find a good, safe, clean bathroom. So I went into the heart of Hollywood to cut the crap and survey the public toilet options. Do you know of a place I can use the bathroom then? <laughs> Like, where's a good public bathroom here? Over 40 million people visit Los Angeles every year. Now that is a lot of butts. I'm here in Hollywood to find out what makes a good public bathroom and what makes one safe enough to poop in. Is there any way to make a public bathroom feel safe enough to poop in? No. How do you decide which business to choose? I mean, I think a department store is always a safe bet. From the look of the building, you can see if the bathroom's clean or not, so. so if you think the facade of the building is sexy, the bathroom is good. When I come to Hollywood, I go clubbing, so I'll just use the bathroom at the club. Ugh. Hollywood, I don't think, has a great bathroom game, uh, but I'm gonna good. try to find the one good bathroom uh, that we gotta have somewhere. Okay. We're in the car right now on our way uh, to our first stop, and I realize that I'm actually starting to have to poop, like, for reals. This is the exact scenario I was fearing for all of our tourists, and now here I am experiencing it myself. So we gotta find a restaurant, we gotta find a department store, and I just gotta find a normal public restroom somewhere in this mall. Ah, level three, and level two. Let's head to level two. I'll take care of it from here. Bam! This bathroom's too crowded. This is never gonna work. We're going to the third floor. There were just so many people there. How could that have been a clean bathroom? Oh, maybe it was though. Maybe that's why it was so popular. Okay, let's get a look here. Oh, we got toilet paper on the ground. We got splatter on the seat. I have to poop, but I can't. There's pee on the seat. And I can't sit down on that. My legs will get wet with urine. Let's keep looking. Okay, so one of our rules was to find a place with a beautiful exterior. So I thought maybe this Victoria's Secret, I'm gonna see if they have a bathroom. Um, just that they could they could let me use. You guys don't have bathrooms here, do you? We don't, but if you go out the door towards the right around the elevator, it should be somewhere there. Are, are those the public bathrooms? Yes. You know, are there, are there any like secret nicer bathrooms around here? No. No nice bathrooms here? Cool. No, it's good to know. My zipper is down. Oops. We are at a preposterously crowded Starbucks, but I'm gonna see if I can possibly use their bathroom. Hi, do I have to buy anything to use the bathroom? Yeah. Don't need to buy anything. We're good. It's a public bathroom. Look at this. Look at this clean bathroom. Ah, there's only one speck of toilet paper. Lots of toilet paper around. Uh, seat covers available. Clean seat. But I can't poop here because there's a lot of ladies in line and it's a gender neutral bathroom and I can't do that to them. I cannot leave them with the poop bathroom. And it was a really nice bathroom. Like, and this is in the center of Hollywood. There must be dozens of people using this bathroom all the time. So props to Starbucks for having like, actually the cleanest bathroom I've encountered. But wait, there's another public restroom. Maybe they can redeem themselves. God, pee on the seat. Stop peeing on the seat. There's pee on the seat. Let's try Dave and Buster's. It's like a department store for fun. Like, there's so much fun. All right. Good. Do you guys have a bathroom I could use? Yeah, we do. This place is incredible. Okay. This is pretty good. There's toilet paper on the floor, but it's the whole roll. It's clean. There is toilet paper here. It's 
snowsuit covers. This is a pretty good bathroom. And they, I didn't have to spend any money playing games, although I want to. Um, yeah, let's do it. We did it. We found a place to poop. And now, guys, let's play some video games, okay? Let's play some f***ing video games. Yeah. Uh, let's get the BuzzFeed card and get ourselves some fun at David Buster's. Wow, Keith, the struggle is real. Yas, Hills, I legit had a hard time finding a place to poop. And while I did end up at David and Buster's, I have to admit that probably the cleanest and most globally available bathroom is Starbucks. Which leads us to rule number deuce. When in doubt, just go to the Bucks. What? Starbucks? Oh, I mean, it does make sense. They sell coffee, which is a laxative. Right. And I wanted to learn more about what makes our poop the way it is, so I sat down with an expert. I'm here today with Dr. Delev, who is a poop expert, also known as a gastroenterologist, right? Yes. Okay, and what does that mean exactly? That's a doctor who takes care of people with problems with their swallowing, their stomach, or their guts. Okay, so you see a lot of poop. See a lot of poop. I asked my coworkers to send me pictures of their poop. Right. And they did, and it was so gross that I could not show them to you. <laughs> it was, I, I questioned my sanity looking at my coworkers' poops. So then what I had them do was describe them to an artist who made some artist renderings. Um, and I was wondering if you could grade the poops. Absolutely. Here we have this one. Yeah, those are little pebble-like stools. And the reason they're like that is because the poop is taking too long to get through the gut, so it's getting dried out. So that's a sign of constipation. That's one person who I guess was constipated. So this is a poop that's not the ideal poop, but it's still within a normal range. It's slightly constipated. It's, it's rocks kind of congregated into a sausage, and that's, it's a little more on the constipated side than a, a smooth sausage would be. Ah, the perfect sausage. That's a log. That's, if you want a stool that looks like the ideal poop, this is the ideal poop. This is it. Whoever gave me this one, I think it was you, uh, you got the perfect poop. That's a green poop. So green is okay. Green is a perfect poop. Yeah? Normal is brown, green, or yellow. That's all normal. We got this one. That's a mushier stool, so that looks like it's heading towards diarrhea with, when you're getting these little flakes that are kind of watery at the edges. So that suggests that you're developing a looser stool if that's not your normal pattern. And then you have to wonder about dietary things you might be ingesting, like maybe lactose if you're lactose intolerant, or fructose if you're fructose intolerant. Too many dried fruits. Too many dried fruits, too much fruit juice. All right. So that's a very nicely shaped log with some corn in it. That's perfectly normal. Why do we see it? Why does it just come out as corn? It's not well digested, and so it travels through you, and that's probably a good thing. It means your transit time from mouth to the toilet bowl is fast. This is I've not really seen a Mount Everest looking stool, but it looks to me like this came out more like toothpaste, and again, it's a softer stool. So some people have, have a lo one loose stool a day, and if that's your normal pattern, that can be okay. So how do you know when you're having a poop that's like problematic? So you probably should see a doctor if what you're normally doing suddenly changes. You should see a doctor if your stools are suddenly coming out pencil thin consistently, not one day, but consistently coming out really thin. Or if it's coming out really funny colors like pitch black or bloody or white. Hillary, we can learn a lot from our poop. Oh, loads. So what's rule number three? It is okay to look at your poop. Great. Ah, uh, but Hillary, I have a confession to make. Whenever I poop, I look at my phone. Oh, that's no big deal. I think everyone does. Oh. Well, to test this theory, I asked what my coworkers do when they evacuate their bowels. Evacuate their bowels? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm gonna interview people at BuzzFeed about what they do while they poop. How do they keep themselves entertained? It's so boring. Zach, what do you do while you poop? Uh, I go on my phone, always, all the time. One hand is dedicated to my phone, one hand is dedicated to touching dirty things. Uh -huh. So, uh, opening the door, taking off my pants, touching the toilet seat. You, you take know? off your pants with one hand? Yeah, I can do it. Do it. This is gonna be incredible. Zach is taking off his pants at work, and he has to because I asked him, so it's not an HR violation. Right. I get into it, and then you just go like that. Boom. Boom. Wow. Pooping. Wow. So you only need one hand to poop. Why um, don't you take your pants off and then pull your phone out of your pocket once your pants are well, down? Well, I could, but just in general. I guess what it comes down to is like when it comes time to, to take, take my wee-wee out of my pants, that hand is now dedicated as my dirty hand. Okay? Do you retouch your wee-wee after touching other things so you're not concerned about your wee-wee at nah, all? I'm not concerned about my wee-wee. Dude, you gotta be concerned about that wee-wee. <laughs> 
So Zach works very hard to keep his phone clean, probably because he knows from a previous BuzzFeed video that using your phone while pooping can lead to a germ-covered phone. But the best way to ensure that it's clean would just be not to bring it in the bathroom at all. So I decided to issue a challenge. Give me a clap. No, don't do that. It's bad for a microphone. I'm here with Zach. Zach is about to go poop. I've decided to give you a challenge. I mean, you can't use your phone while you're in there. And then I want you to report back of what the experience was like. Well, okay. How exciting. It doesn't get much more exciting than this. Right, Ned? Sure doesn't. What are we talking about? A few minutes later, Zach returned from the men's room. I feel really accomplished. Um, I just pooped and I didn't use my phone. So at first I was bored and I didn't know what to do and I thought this was stupid. I was mad at you, I was mad at the world. But as time went on, my, my mind cleared and my thoughts were free to explore. You know, pooping without your phone, you could do it. Would you do it again? Ah, uh, probably not. No, I wanna check Instagram. Oh, wow. That corn fell full of surprises. So, uh, was there a rule there? Oh, yeah. If you want to bring your phone, bring your phone. Just be sure to clean it sometimes. Which leads us to our final messy situation. And to protect the identity of our unfortunate poopetrator, Hillary and I recreated his crappy nightmare. You'll want to pull up a stool for this one. I feel like we've got a good amount of puns in there. Yeah, I think we dropped some solids. So a few years ago, my girlfriend and I, we decided to go see a movie downtown. And for some idiotic reason, we decided to buy one of those giant buckets of popcorn. And I actually ended up eating most, if not all of it, before the movie had even started. So stupid decision. And I guess you could say that's where the real drama begins. After the movie ends, we're walking to the car and I just feel sick, but I'm able to, to fight that off. We think, you know what, it's 25 minutes till we get home, it's, it's not really gonna be a problem. So we get into the car and we're driving and all of a sudden the popcorn in my body just decides to change direction towards the poop realm. And I'm not gonna share this with my girlfriend, so I just keep it to myself. My body is just rigid with tension trying to, to hold this in. So we're driving and we just run into a giant wall of bumper to bumper traffic. And I think, oh my God, this is the end. And my girlfriend can clearly sense that something is wrong. So she looks over at me and calmly but blatantly just goes, do you have to poop? And our relationship wasn't necessarily at poop status yet, but I just kind of looked straight forward and just said, yep. We think, okay, you know what? Our best option is probably to take the next exit, whatever it is. However, the next exit that was coming up was just a really bad neighborhood. But we decided, you know what? That's what has to happen. So we get off the exit and I'm driving like Jason Bourne. I'm just weaving in and out of traffic and we make a turn and I can see there's an he's in the distance. And I think, oh my God, salvation. But then this really fast thought process just rockets through my head. And I think, no, this can't be an option because if you go in there and there's someone in the bathroom or they're cleaning it or it's locked, whatever the reason, you're gonna poop your pants in front of 30 plus people in a bad neighborhood. So all those kind of mark off the checklist, this isn't gonna work. And I just decide, you know what, game time decision, let's drive my car over the sidewalk and just behind this uh, abandoned factory building. I scamper out of this car like a, a wild animal. I run behind a dumpster and I just shit my brains out. I've never felt lower as a human being in my entire life. Uh, but the next step now is how do I clean myself up? So I, I ditch the underwear, use that as toilet paper, and I'm looking around for what else I can use and think, no, you're behind an abandoned factory. You don't need a tetanus shot in your asshole. So that's not gonna be an option. So I pull my pants up. I kind of waddle back to the car. My girlfriend is hysterically laughing this entire time. Uh, and I'd cleaned out my car the day before. So there was nothing I can use. Napkins, paper towels, nothing. Uh, but there were uh, Google map directions. So I decided to use those, go back behind the dumpster, clean myself up, as best as I can to that point, get back into the car, I'm smelling terrible, continue our drive home, eventually we make it home, I take a shower, I'm, I'm back to a full human being status, and for the rest of that day and into the night, this thought process that just kind of lodged itself in my brain was, what if someone goes behind that dumpster and they see this just mess of just human poop everywhere, and they think, oh my God, who, who did this? What kind of disgusting monster is responsible for this? And then his partner, I guess, picks up a piece of paper and says, here's his Google map directions. His address is right here. Let's go get him. And I, that doesn't make any sense, but that's what I had in my head. Um, so uh, needless to say, I was never held accountable for my actions. So that is good. And I'm proud to say that the brave lady in that story is still my girlfriend today. And I would say that Pooh brought us closer together. Well, Keith, that strange story actually did have a happily ever after. Totes, Hillary. 
And that leads us to rule number five. Love is greater than poop. Well, I'm Keith, and that's it for this show. I'm Hillary. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Unwritten Rules. We'll see you next time. I don't know if I could ever poop in my girlfriend. Sometimes it's not a matter of control. You don't have a choice. Well, I mean, but can't you, like, make them go a mile away? Like, I'll, I'm going to start running this way, you run that way. Have you ever tried running when you had to take a huge dump? Yeah, I have. And I admit it's not a good run in terms of quality of run, but you can you can skitter, well, scamper. Well, I don't know if that's true.